Hi guys, I have a question here that I want to do. Uh, it's worth uh, 40 marks. Uh, it's a mock test. I did one of the questions uh, in one of the videos. Uh, please check it in, in one of the playlists on my YouTube channel. I did this question here. So now I'm going to do question two, which is this one. It says first angle orthographic projection of a machine component is shown below draw an isometric view of the component use a scale of one is to one use the default layer start with corner marked a do not show hidden lines dimensions uh, center lines or construction lines so here uh, we see this since it's first angle orthographic projection according to the symbol uh, this is the top view that's the left view and that's the front view right so I'm going to start with this corner here and I'm going to go that way, right? So that means I'll be drawing that line there and also that part and yeah, that part there, right? So I advise that you take this uh, screenshot of the drawing so that you'll be viewing it as I draw. So I'll start with this, then I'll go to this part, right? So I'm starting with the bottom part. So here I'm going to change my... Uh, I'm going to change to isometric drafting. I'm turning it on. Then I go to line. Uh, I make sure my layer zero is selected there. Then I change my ISO plane to ISO right. Then I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna also put uh, orthogon orthogonal restriction. So I know that I'll have a yeah here I have a 15 according to. Uh, the question then here I have a what well let me start with the parts that I know the parts that I remember so this part here is a is a 12 and then we have a 5 and then we have a 3 2 then we have a 5 then we have a 12 then we go up by 15 then we go to that side, that's a 56. Then I, ch I, I change my ISO plane to ISO left. And then I'm going to draw that part there. I draw that part there. Then I trim it. After trimming it, I, I go to that corner there. This is my corner A, by the way. So I'm now drawing the front view, right? So uh, on the front, no, this is actually the, the, the side view, is it? Yeah, it's the side view, it's the left view, right? So I'm drawing the uh, a part of the uh, left view. So here we have a 75, and then we have a what? We have a, a 15. Then here we have a, a 75. And then I'm going to change to isotope so that I can complete this part here, right? So I have a, I have a, a, a 56 here. And then here I have uh, that, right? I'm just joining that point. Then for me to go up to the center of that uh, circle, there is a 63 on that drawing. If you check here, we have a 63 that's here. It's from the very bottom of the drawing up to a line that passes through those, uh, the center of those two circles, right? So I'm going to go up by 63 and then uh, go that side to the back of the drawing by 100. After that, I see that I have um, this web here, right? It comes from where the circles are, right? From the center of the circle, we have to move by 36 to get to where the web changes shape like that. So I'll first uh, draw those circles. I'll, draw, I'll put this 100, right, to locate the center of those circles. And then after locating that center, I'm going to draw the circles. The one is a radius of 18 because its diameter is 36. The other one, the radius is 11 because the diameter is 22. So I now go back and uh, do just that. So from the very bottom of the uh, drawing, at the, from the midpoint, right? I'll draw a what? A, 
this is just a construction line guys i'm going to erase it. that's a 63 i'm going to erase that line it's just for me to locate uh my my center of of the circles and then i'll change my uh iso plane to iso top. then i go to elliptical arc i go and select iso circle on the command line then i go to that point i, I left click on it and then uh, the radius of the one of the circles, the biggest one, uh, is a radius of 18. A circle is a complete revolution, so we start from one point, we end at the same point. I then, I don't need to go and click there. I just say enter because I used it previously. Then I go to ISO circle, then I go to that point, and then I type 11. That's the radius of the other circle, all right? Then I have something like that. So now what I do is um, I can copy these. I don't need to draw them again. I just copy them and say copy selection. Move them down. Uh, copy them down, right? Uh, so I'll, I'll copy them down by how much? It's by it's by 25, right? Because that thing, if you look at it, it has a 25 there, right? And also that web has a thickness of 12, right? That web. That's a web because here it appears as a line. And uh, here it, it, it's a thin sheet of material. So it's represented like this, right? You just represent it like this. So it was, that's why it was in section also, right? So yeah, you don't section a web. So um, down by 25. And we're somewhere there, right? So. Uh, before I do anything else, let me just uh, take this line, uh, select it, right? Copy it. So I'll use copy selection. And then I'll copy it one side by 6 because I know that my web has a thickness of 12. So 6, 6 on either side of the center. I know this one passes through the center. Then I know from there, I'm going to have to move by how much? From the center, I know I'll have to move by uh, 35, it's, it's 35, right? Or 36, we'll check, let's check. Ah, it's a 36. From the center to where the web changes shape, it's a 36. Enter, so it's somewhere there, right? So I'll click there. And then I'll start trimming. So here, yeah, I'll, I'll trim that, I'll trim uh, that there, and I'll trim that, I'll trim that, I'll trim that. This one, I'll actually uh, erase it, right? Then maybe I'll trim uh, that part there. Then I have something like that. And also, I need to, uh, so here you use quadrant uh, for those points there, right? Use quadrant. Basically, we are trying to join points in the same quadrant because they turn at the same time. If you look at that one, it's similar to a point that's there. Same here, they turn at the same time. So we say they're in the same quadrant. You turn on quadrant here, right? On object snap. That's where you turn the other ones. End point, midpoint, center, uh, extension, intersection. Uh, yeah, that's where you do the tangent. Yeah, that's where you do that, right? So I'm gonna use quadrant. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same for that point and that point. And then after that, I'm gonna, um, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna select uh, that line, uh, copy selection. And then down by 25 so that I put it there also so that things will be easier for me right um, let me first trim those up the I know I won't even see them right and that circle as well I won't see it that arc as well and that arc so yeah so I'll also then put a line there 
and then I'll also trim uh, that line and that line, right? Maybe um, that as well. So I have something like this here, right? So I know that this one I can offset it from the midpoint because it's passing through the midpoint. I can offset it to either side. I can uh, copy selection and put one at six and the other one at six on the other side. Then I can remove this one here. Then what I can do is I can uh, select line where they intersect. I'm going to uh, join there. And then there, where they intersect, I join there. And I'm going to erase that and that because I don't need them. After that, uh, I'm also going to maybe trim that part. But yeah, first, first, okay, I, I also need to uh, put, if you check here, um, we have a what? Okay, we'll check what we have. But let's just draw the full distance, which is the 75. All right. And then leave it like that. And then after that, we can um, maybe, yeah, okay. Let's first uh, actually put that point. So we know up to the center, it's what, 37.5. So for me to get to that point, it will be uh, 31.5. It will be 31.5, right? So let's just measure to verify. Uh, that has to be 31.5, correct. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, basically say from that point, I'm moving to that side by 31.5. So I'm using extension. I don't click at that corner. I just start moving away the moment it says end point. Then I, I, it will take me there, right? Then I'll do that. And then after that, I'm going to raise this part because I won't see it, right? And then uh, also trim that part. Yeah, so uh, from here, what we just need to do is we need to go and select line. And then we go to that corner. Uh, we start moving like this. And then when we are just outside uh, that line, we uh, click anywhere. And then we erase um, that part. Right, because it's not part of our drawing. And then we erase that part. And then, uh, yeah, we can also uh, remove this part here because it doesn't appear. So what was important here is that uh, this line and this part of the web do not intersect because this part of the web is actually going to the bottom of the drawing where a line that goes to that corner uh, passes through. So yeah, that's that's what we should have. So now we go to elliptical arc, and then we select ellipt uh, elliptical arc, and then ISO circle. Well, we have to first do what? There's something that we have to do first. We have to locate the center of our ISO circle. We know that uh, it's at from that corner. If we move away from that corner. Let's do this again. Let's move away from this one by 15. We know that it's 15 in that direction and it's 28 in that direction. So it's somewhere there. After that, we go to elliptical arc, we go to ISO circle. Then there, we can uh, put our circle of, red, of radius 6 because its diameter is 12. And then we can actually do a complete revolution. Then we have something like that. Now, we can copy selection. We don't need to draw both circles. You can't use mirror when you're doing isometric. Please don't attempt. Uh, uh, it will be wrong. So here we, uh, we know that they are at a distance of uh, 45 away from each other. So we we'll have something like that. Then we can trim that part there. And that's our complete drawing. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe so that it also helps uh, others. 
It also helps me when you like uh, and subscribe and also comment uh, because uh, my videos will move to the top on YouTube. So thank you guys. Thank you in advance for liking and subscribing.